Hello, this tutorial is to explain the various features of Python language. Python is a high-level programming language created by Guido van Rossum and it was first released in 1991. Let us see the various features of Python language. The first one, Python is interpreted. Python code is processed at runtime by the interpreter. Python interpreters are available for many operating systems allowing Python code to run on different systems. It makes the development and debugging faster because there is no compilation involved in Python development. The second point, it is acting as both scripting and general purpose language. Databases, Python provides interfaces to major commercial databases. GUI programming, Python supports GUI applications that can be created and ported to many system calls and libraries such as Windows MFC, Macintosh and X Windows systems for Unix. Scalable Python provides a better structure and support for large programs. It is also used by scientists for writing applications run on supercomputers. This Python can be used both as a scripting and can be used for general purpose. The third Code readability. Python is an interpreted language that emphasizes on code readability. The syntax of Python allows programmers to implement the logic in fewer lines of code than in other languages like C or Java. Fourth point Dynamic type systems and automatic memory management. These features of Python makes it language for rapid application development. Variables in Python is dynamically typed during assignment operation. For example, when we write a statement x equal to 10, it makes the variable x data type as integer. When we write x equal to Mumbai, it makes the variable x data type as string. There's no need to use the data types to declare the variables in Python. It also supports automatic garbage collection for the memory management. Fifth point, it supports multiple programming paradigms like imperative, procedural, functional and object oriented programming styles. Let us see the programming styles of different by using an example for adding the elements of a list using different programming paradigms in Python. First, imperative programming. It changes the state informations in order to achieve an output. Let's see the example in which we have created a list with five elements. We use a variable sum for storing the sum and a for loop is used in which each element will be taken from the list and it will keep on getting added into the variable sum and the sum is printed. Now this type of programming style is an example for imperative programming style because the value of sum changes with each iteration of the loop. As a result we can say that sum is having a state and the state of sum get changed inside the for loop because the value of sum will get changed during each iteration. So Python language can be used for imperative programming style. The second one procedural programming. It relies on procedure calls to create modularized program. In this example we are using the concept of function. A new function is defined by using keyword def. The function name is add and the list is taken as a parameter. Inside the function by using a for loop each individual elements will be retrieved from the list and keep on adding it to the sum variable and from the function the sum value will be returned. Outside the function the function has been called in the main module by using the function name and the parameters. We can see that the function add simplifies the overall code as the program is broken into different modules. So Python also supports the procedural programming with the concept of functions. Third one, functional programming. Functional programming, the coding style almost look like a mathematical equation. 
Python supports the creation of anonymous functions at runtime using lambda function. The same program logic is written by using a lambda function. A lambda function can be defined by using function tools module. We have written lambda x. The expression is y is x plus y. In this program statement, we calculate the value of y as the successive addition of x and y for every x which takes the value from list 1. So here the value of x will be taken from list 1 and it will get keep on added into the variable y and the y will be the, the summation of all the values of x present in the list 1. So lambda functions can have any number of arguments but only one expression. In this example we have used two arguments x and list 1 but only one expression y colon x plus y. The expression is evaluated and returned. Here y is calculated as the sum of all x from list 1. So we have not used any for loop here. We are using a mathematical equations or functions which will be dynamically created during runtime because of lambda function. Object oriented programming style. Python support OOP concept like user defined classes, inheritance and runtime binding of methods. Let's see the example for adding the elements of a list by using a class. We created a class named perform. Inside the perform class, a method is defined. The name of the method is add. It takes a parameter as a list. Inside the add method, we have written the logic for finding the sum of the elements of the list and the sum will be returned. In the main module, a list object is created as list1 and an object for the class is created. Here, object of the class is obj. By calling the constructor of that perform and by using the object the member function can be called by using obj.add. A user defined class named perform is created with a method named add that compute the sum of all the elements of the list. We create an instant of perform which is named as obj and call the method add using a list to get the sum of all the list elements. Six point Python is interactive. Interactive mode allows interactive testing and debugging of code snippet in Python. Python prompt can be used to interact with the Python interpreter directly. For example, to add two numbers in interactive mode. For example, first we have typed the value of a as 2, next b as 4, and we have written the statement c equal to a plus b. And when we type the variable c, it prints the result of c. So small code snippet can be executed and tested by using the interactive mode of Python, which is the Python prompt. Seventh feature, easy to learn, read and maintain. Python has few keywords, simple structure and clearly defined syntax that makes the Python an easy to learn language. Python code is easy to read because of indentation requirement. Python code is easy to maintain with the programming concepts like flow control using if else statement, while loop, for loop over an iteratable object, etc. Error handling using try, accept, finally statements, etc. This Python is a language that can be easily learned. It provides the readability and maintainability. The 
the eighth feature open source the reference implementation of python named c python is an open source software and has a community based development model for its variant implementations c python is managed by the non profit python software foundation ninth feature portable python can run on wide variety of hardware platforms and has the same interface on all the platforms the tenth feature extendable Low level modules can be added to the python interpreter. It allow programmers to add or customize their programs to be more efficient. The 11th feature organizing programs through modules. For organizing programs python support the three basic concepts. The first one packages. It allows to group a set of modules or packages together modules related code can be grouped together within a single source file named as module it allows a set of methods and variables to be grouped together by using the concept of classes python has an extensive standard library with more than 100 modules it includes various features like regular expression matching standard mathematical functions threads operating system interfaces network programming standard internet protocols like http ftp smtp etc email handling xml processing html parsing and a gui toolkit the 12th feature of Python programming language, third party modules and packages. Python support a large set of third party modules and packages which are open source. It includes web frameworks, GUI toolkits, efficient numerical libraries, interfaces to relational databases like Oracle, MySQL, etc. It also support Swig, a tool for making C++ libraries available as Python modules. Thank you for watching this video.